Welcome to Lesson 5.4. In 5.4, we're going to continue working with the fraction blocks, only this time rather than adding them, we're going to be doing subtracting. So I'm going to show you how to do the fraction blocks. <coughs> in this lesson's second half, you'll notice that I've got number lines and fraction strips. I will not be doing those for you. You can read through it if you wish, but again, like I told you before, we're going to use fraction blocks. I'll show you how to work with them, but then right after that, we're going to go to the symbolic because that's where the rest of the math is for grades uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, and even on higher into the other, other areas of math. So you would have normally a set of fraction blocks with you at your desk, and you'd be able to, to mimic or do what I'm doing. But since you're at home, you don't have one. You just get to watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to take one half, and I need to subtract one sixth from it. So normally, so what you pull out a hexagon, which is yellow, and on that hexagon, you would put a red trapezoid, which would represent one half. That's your first fraction. Now I need to remove one sixth. So you pull out one sixth, which is your green triangle, and you would place it on top of the red portion of the trapezoid. Now what is left showing is the answer, but you'll notice that it's red. So I need to find a shape that will cover that red color totally without going too far, without going over it or leaving anything showing. So I would, in this case, I'd be able to put a blue one over top of it and you'll see that a blue one covers right here, and that is our one-third fraction block, and it covers it exactly. It doesn't go too far, and it doesn't leave anything showing. So we know that one-half take away one-sixth is equal to one-third. And that's simply how you, how you do it. And there's your answer on this side. What about five-sixths take away one-half? Well, you take out your yellow trapezoid, or your yellow hexagon, and you put your green triangles on it. We're taking five six, so I'm going to need five one sixths or five green triangles. And you'll notice it covers it all up except for one shape of a green triangle, which is yellow. That is the five six. Now I need to take away one half of that. So I can take and cover it with a red one half. So there's the five sixths. I cover up the one half, and you'll notice that I have this shape here and this shape here left. I think my smart board just stopped working for a second. It did. Just give it a second, it'll catch up hopefully. Let's see if it started working again here. Okay, we're back up and running now. Okay, so I've got one half taken away from the five six. So those green triangles that would have normally have been here, they're covered, so we count them as being gone. And that leaves me with this shape here and this shape here left. Now we know that one yellow, sorry, one, one blue rhombus will cover that. And the blue rhombus is one third, so we know that five six take away one half leaves me with one third showing. So that's my answer, one-third. And on the next one, you'll see uh, another question, two-thirds take away half. So we start with the hexagon. We cover it with two-thirds. Now, taking two-thirds, I'm going to cover that with a half block. You'll see I've got the red there covering it. The shape that's left showing right here, that is a green triangle. So we know that one, sorry, two-thirds take away one-half is equal to one sixth. Four six take away one third. Yellow hexagon, cover it with four six because they're four green triangles. We're going to take one third away. So grab one of the one third blue rhombuses, cover it up. Whatever is showing is our answer. And since that's a third, we know that four sixths take away one third leaves me with an answer of one third. Now, you can go back over these, exa these examples and, uh, you know, and, and redo them in, on, on uh, your own. You can come in and talk to me, and we can give you some blocks, and I can give you some extra examples to work with. All right. At this point, if you notice, it starts talking about using number lines and stuff. I'm going to stop the lesson here. Uh, if you wish to go through and read this and, and, 
and take a look at how to do it, you can. However, I will not be testing you on it, nor will I be teaching you directly. The information is available for you. It's also in your textbook a little bit, too. You can go through that, too. Uh, I would rather concentrate on getting past the concrete, which is the manipulatives of the blocks, and move directly into our symbolic, which is more of where we're going to be going. So if you have any questions, come and talk to me. If not, uh, you can close this one, and this lesson is complete.